Well, we're continuing our study in the Chronological Bible, and we're in the book of Ecclesiastes, which uh, Solomon wrote uh, probably late in his life, and he's reflecting on the vanity of life or the pride of life and how uh, without God or separated from God, nothing has any meaning or purpose. And uh, we're in chapter 6. We see there that he is kind of summarizing some of the conclusions he's already made, uh, but he's really driving home the point by exaggerating uh, things. And he's saying uh, in verses 1 and 2, uh, happiness is not in wealth, happiness is not in children, verses 3 through 6. Happiness is not in the labor that you do, verses 7 and 8. Happiness is not in looking forward towards the future, verses 9 through 12. And he exaggerates it. He, he says, uh, didn't matter if you would have a thousand children or a hundred children. Uh, doesn't matter how long you live. You live uh, a thousand years and without God, it doesn't have any meaning or purpose. And no matter how hard you work or how much you accomplish, uh, labor will never satisfy you apart from God. And no matter what you think the future may hold for you or how hard you work towards the future, uh, that's not going to bring you the happiness that you're looking for. And then in chapter 7, he contrasts wisdom versus folly. And he says, a good name is better than ointment. Uh, your reputation and your, your personality, your integrity is far better than anything else that you could have. And he reminds us again what he did and when he told us about there's a time for everything. When he says it's uh, sometimes not the times that you'd think that would be meaningful. But he kind of contrasts things and he says uh, uh, it's, it's not all laughter. Sometimes mourning can be very meaningful. I found that uh, mourning means that we have experienced grief and therefore we're more able to comfort others. He talks about a rebuke from somebody that really loves you and cares about you, but rebukes you. Uh, it's better than praise many times that we get a rebuke. And then he talks about patience and how patience is much better than revenge or uh, exercising anger. He talks about how adversity sometimes is far better for us than prosperity. Uh, as a matter of fact, Paul said that very clearly in the New Testament, didn't he? He said, when I am weak, then I am strong. And we certainly see that adversity very often molds us and makes us better people. So he, he shows us that wisdom isn't just laughter, isn't just praise, and it isn't just revenge. It, it isn't uh, prosperity. Uh, but wisdom is understanding that every event in our life God has allowed and with him even those things which would seem negative to the rest of the world are positive to those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose and that's my thought for the day I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and on uh, Monday we'll continue uh, through the book of Ecclesiastes God bless you and have a wonderful weekend don't forget to go to church the assembling of ourselves is very important, and the fellowship of fellow Christians is very important in our lives. God bless.